Sledgehammer. Brought to you by Ivory Shampoo and Conditioner. For hair with no heavy buildup, leave your hair feeling ivory clean. Did you put... You'll have to change your name. There's already a group called the police. What the hell is going on? You tell me, pal. I thought you were in mourning. Well, I am. She's comforting me in my hour of need. Well, who are you two? We're detectives. We're here to ask you questions about Brock Vulture's murder. Oh, what? Gina, shut up. Now, just go over in the corner and look gorgeous. All right. What do you want to know about Rack? Like, uh, who would want to kill him? For starters? Yeah, well, anyone would want to kill Rack. He was an animal, plain and simple. Now, you know he once punched Mother Teresa right in the mouth? Well, that's terrible. Well, nothing compared with this. I'm throwing a quiet little dinner party over at the house. Now, Rack comes over, uninvited, of course. He beats up half the guests. He insults my wife and kids. He kills the dog, skins the cat, and ruins my entire art collection. What did you do? I told him. Knock it off. All right, I'm tired of your fond reminiscences, pal. That satanic noise you pawn off as music feeds on the minds of our young people, causing them to grow their hair long and smoke funny cigarettes and then cut school and stay home all day watching that... that... NBC. MTV. Don't confuse me. Now I want some answers. Answers, music man. Hey, man, unhand me. I'm practically a saint in this business. You Now listen. Listen, I hate this noise, too, but I'm a businessman. Look, I have to make a buck. You know, I've been on this case for two hours, and already I feel grimy. Yeah, well, I've been in the business for 12 years. Now listen, I've told you everything I know. Now if you want to hear anything else, you go talk to the boys in the band, because they're downstairs rehearsing. Okay, thanks. Let's go, Sledge. All right, here's my card, in case you think of anything else. Shirley's ammo dump. 50% off with the card. I forgot. I don't have cards. <laughs> Thank you. Gina, sweetie, if you're going to dance, turn on the music. I find you very attractive. Mm -hmm. Tuning up. This must be a very devastating day for you. My deepest condolences. Yeah, it was my bloody plane. Oh, you're referring to the to the loss of human life. Yeah, that hurts too. I guess. Mind you, they were only technically human. What are you crying for, pal? They treated you like trash. I know. It was the best job I ever had. Why weren't you on the plane? Oh, they made me hitch. What? Have you got any idea what happened to the plane? Yeah. The plane crashed. That's essentially, that's the long and the short of it. I don't think we're going to know what happened to the plane until we see the black box with the flight recorder in it. Isn't that it right there? 
Oh, is that what this is? I was strictly keeping it as a memento of my employer, sir. Give me a minute. Come on, Daryl. Let's take this back to the precinct before the FAA gets their PAWSs on it. You know, Sledge, I don't think we should because the FAA oh, is very sticky not... about this kind of stuff. It always gets there after you do. a minute. I don't remember inviting you to in here. That's all right. I don't stand on ceremony. Who was the pilot of that plane? No. I think they got some new guy. Why? Because he deliberately jumped out of the plane and let it crash. Now, doesn't that strike you as a little odd? Now, look, if you were riding a small plane with those three maniacs, wouldn't you jump too? He's got a point there to roll. Your lack of remorse is detestable, Mr. Vicuna. Is it because record sales increased dramatically after an artist's death? On the first account, detective. They were not artists. And on the second account, their fans are so wigged out, they don't even know they're dead. Oh, come on. I know you're going to cash in on those record royalties now that those bozos are extinct. Now, listen. I don't like where this is going. Now, all their royalties from their records go to their next of kin. That is, of course, if anybody admits to being their next of kin. Can you prove that? Yeah. Look, I'm a businessman. I, I have initialed contracts. Now, stop this car. Now, get out. Now, I have a, an important meeting back at the office with, with the next rat vulture. Pardon me, miss, but will you marry me? Get out. And here, so there's no hard feelings. Well, just what I expected from a sleaze bag like that. What, did we get nothing out of him? No, that he didn't give us compact discs. Do a 38, a 45, and a 22. But it doesn't like doing a 22, because that's just a little top. Put it away. Look at this. Rusty Veltri cut a record from prison. Let me see that. Well, I must have been the inspiration for this song. Why is that? It's number one with a bullet.